Would you like to create a video submission form? Well, let me show you how with JotForm. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And if you need for your users to submit a video submission, maybe it's for a contest entry, you can utilize JotForm just for that. So let me show you how to build this form. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new form. So top left-hand corner, we're gonna choose that orange create form button. And let's go ahead and take a peek at what the templates have to offer. And I'm gonna use the search option right here at the top. And here we can see that we have over a thousand results for video submit form. So if you really aren't sure which fields you should be requiring in your form, coming to use our templates is definitely a great place to start. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch. So in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna go ahead and head back. Let's start from scratch on the classic form. And I'm gonna go ahead and change the name of this form to video entry contest. And as soon as I hit enter, it's gonna automatically update and change the name of the entire form. So let's let's add some form elements. On the left-hand side, we're gonna do add form element. And let's choose full name, email, and phone number. And of course, we wanna make sure that these are required. If you have specific ones you would like to require, you can make sure it is chosen. Choose this gear property and choose the required option. Or we can right click, we can manage multiple fields and we can choose multiples in order to make required. Perfect. In order to get their video submission, we need to choose a file upload option. So over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down just a little bit. And right here, we have file upload. Now this is going to allow them to browse or drag and drop, whether it's on their phone or their desktop or wherever they're accessing your form from, they're going to be able to choose the video to submit. Now, of course, we wanna make sure that it is required. And we can also change the file types. Maybe we want to make sure that it is a video, so we don't want a PDF, a doc, Excel. We don't want some of these in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some of these. And of course, we can limit the file size if needed. And if we want them to be able to upload multiples, we can do that as well. But something else that we can do is we can send these files to an external storage site, maybe like Google Drive or Dropbox. So as you saw, I went up to the top and we chose our settings. So over on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose our integrations. And for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use Google Drive. You'll want to choose your Google Drive account and authenticate. I'm gonna go ahead and add action. And right here, we can see that it's going to create a folder in Google Drive called Video Entry Contest. Now, within that file, I want it to create subfiles for each person who submitted. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this right here. And we can name the folder as well. So for me, the submission ID I don't need, but I do want to make sure that I have their submission date, and then we can do a dash maybe, and then their name. And again, if you have other form fields that you have added to make it more easy for you to know maybe what is in the video, you can add that as well. Now we can also send submission PDFs to Google Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then down here for the uploaded fields, we're gonna choose the file upload field. Perfect. So let's go ahead and save. And it looks like we're good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder. And here you can see we have the video entry contest folder and no one has submitted anything yet, so it is completely empty. So let's go ahead, let's head back over to JotForm. Let's preview our form and let's give it a quick fill form. Good deal. Now we can either click here to open up our downloads or we can drag and drop if maybe something is saved on our desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose to browse for file. And we can see that our movie that we have shot is down here in the bottom. Perfect, so let's go ahead and submit. Good deal, I'm gonna go ahead and jump out of preview mode. Let's change over from form builder over to tables. And we can see Johnson's information and his file uploaded. And if I right click on that video, I can come here and download this attachment. Now let's go ahead and jump over to our Google Drive. And here we see John Smith's now has a folder. We can open this. We have a PDF copy of his form submission and we have his video. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and jump back over into our form builder. And let's say that we want to make this form 
fit us in our branding. We can come up to that top right hand corner and click on the form designer and we can choose from pre-made color schemes or we can edit right down here the page color or the form color. If we have an image that we would like to upload, we can choose a file right here. Let me go ahead and just choose a quick color right here. Perfect. And if we jump over to the styles option, we can change the form width. We can change the question spacing. We can change the font even if we would like. Perfect. Now let's say that you're running this contest and it is on your website. We want to make sure that this form is embedded on your website. So I'm going to go up to publish I'm going to head over to embed and I'm going to do this copy code right here. Go ahead and head over to my website. We have our video contest entry page ready to go. I'm going to come down here and then we're going to choose whatever embed option you use for your website. And then I'm going to paste in that code. And from here, we can ensure that our form fits our website perfectly. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm to collect your video submissions, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.